all right guys and girls welcome to today's video uh, as you can I am walking because you know because of the fucker stealing my bikes yes with an s too so I'm walking so there's that part okay so today's video I, I plan to talk about um um I refuse to blackfish I refuse to blackfish now the word blackfish I know that word isn't really used a lot the more common word is white white fishing white fishing is it white fishing white acting whatever it's called I refuse to blackfish white fishing basically um no whitewashing there you go <laughs> I refuse to blackwash I refuse to blackwash. The main word that's commonly used is whitewash, okay? In my history of living, I've been told by a couple of folks, I think people of my childhood family, um, and even people, even classmates of my, you know, class of my, you know, senior year of high school. That's when it really started to be when I started used to be called whitewash or whatever. Like 2017, 18, both those years, I believe, because people started to realize I wasn't act as acting as quote unquote black. I wasn't acting most of the culture or whatever. Apparently, according to members of my childhood family, I used to act more black, which to a very extent, I actually agree. Whatever reason, I felt more quote unquote black back in the day. When I was, I don't know, like 16, I'll even say 18 and under. Okay, yeah, I identified more as black when I was 18 and younger, okay? Why? Because I was into this whole interracial thing or whatever. So, yeah. But now, I think it was around 19 is when I stopped trying to identify as black or as my stupid color, stupid skin color. So, now when I refuse. When I say I refuse to blackwash, I refuse to act black, okay? I refuse to act like the rest of... Most of black people. I refuse to act like that. Unfortunately, most black people act similar. And by that, I mean like specifically listening to rap, listening to hip hop, listening to soul for music, going to black churches, um... Dating is specifically black, preferring black, you know, black culture, black love, ancestors this, ancestors that, black history, love it, all this stuff. Just, just all those casual black people things, okay? All that stuff. So, apparently I'm a white, I'm whitewashed, apparently. Where the fuck that's supposed to mean? I guess what they mean by that is you decided, um, I did meet a black person or whatever, decided to I don't know choose white people's things or a white person I was hanging around too many white people and therefore it basically erased all my blackness or whatever so my black card has to be revoked or whatever the fuck but whatever it is it sounds like shit to me I don't believe I don't believe I was never whitewashed I was never whitewashed to me I was just me being me even as a kid, even as a kid, like in my childhood days, in my early childhood, my peak childhood, and even my preteen era, and even teen era, there was no such thing of me acting black or acting white. I was just being Ray Marco, being myself. Like in video games, Sonic the Hedgehog especially, being obsessed with cartoons, voice acting, science fiction, science fact, and all that stuff. That was just all me. All that black history stuff, like all this hip hop, rap, and all that other shit, I, that wasn't me. I wasn't listening to all that. I was too busy listening to this stuff on YouTube I was interested in. Because one thing I realized back then when I was growing up, as a kid and te pre teenager or whatever, the stuff I really wanted to watch, specifically like Sonic, Mario, Crash, and all those video games, was never on TV. If it was, it was like super rare. And like computers and like windows and stuff like that. Operating systems and stuff like that. All that stuff was super rare. So I decided. 
I mean, I watched whatever did interest me, and that was mostly Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon, you know, those cartoon channels or whatever, Disney, you know, all that stuff. Uh, what else? Science fiction channels like, um, like, like WTTW11, you know, after, you know, what was it? WG, whatever, you know what I'm talking about, you know, after, you know, WTTW11 kids stuff, after PBS kids or whatever was over. What else? I watched um, Nova, I watched The Universe, I watched How the Universe Works, you know, a bunch of space stuff on, you know, the sci sci fi channel, you know, that stuff. All that stuff I watch. When it came to BET content, I just wasn't really that interested. I was just too busy, more interested in the science fiction, the science, you know, the Weather Channel, and all the, um, you know, cartoons and stuff like that. And any chance I had of watching video games on TV, I took it. Now, around my freshman year, freshman year of high school, my, um, my 2014 summer, and my, yeah, my 2014 summer, and my, uh, what you call it, um, let's, what's it, two, okay, 2014, uh, no, 2000, shit, 2014's spring, and 2014's summer, and then my early freshman year, that was the, that was the time I started to get access to technology. It was around, technically speaking, I have to say two, um, summer 2014, but I'll say, yeah, but whatever. I'll just say 2000, summer 2014. Summer 2014, that's when I had, sorry, I, it wasn't my first phone. I'll say it was my first unofficial phone. My first official phone came when I was 16 years old, but my first unofficial phone came around, um, spring 2014 so i'm using my unofficial first phone which is um the lg track phone something like that i don't remember the full name of it but lg track i'll probably well i'm not in this video anyway but yeah i'll probably put it in the description whatever i i use that phone or whatever it was nice or whatever it was nice I, I that's when i started to get access to the internet a bunch i watched a bun, bunch of sonic content it was really beautiful a, lot, a bunch of mario content and all that other stuff. It was nice. A very beautiful moment. When I first moved to Joliet. In 2014. That's when I used to watch a lot of Sonic content. Play a lot of Sonic content. When I started to have more access to the internet. And that was nice. Beautiful moment. That's when I started to really discover the internet on my own. Which was really cool. And during that time. I was not watching any like. I don't know. Black history stuff. I wasn't doing no Martin Luther King and all that stuff, which, happy birthday to him, by the way. His birthday was probably like yesterday or a few days ago. One of those days, but happy birthday to him. Um, anyways, I wasn't watching no black people stuff. No um, rap music and hip-hop and all the other stuff. Uh, if, I, if it was anything black culture I was watching, it was church stuff, black culture stuff. That's the stuff what I was watching. If I was watching something. But, majority of the things I watch... Was science and video games. That's what I watched. Mainly on the internet. It was around. I believe 2016. I would say probably. It has to be either. Late 2015 or. 2016 is when I started. To receive backlash. About me not seeking black culture. It was around that time. So. Now I'm, I'm sitting over here. Doing whatever. Hopefully, I'm not holding them. I'm probably covering the microphone the entire time. I need some drink. So yeah, well, I started to receive backlash around that time frame, 2016. Please do not have car crash because I don't feel like having this on record. Anyways. I started to have backlash about me not seeking black culture. As a matter of fact, I'll even take it even this further. I wasn't, you know, seeking females and stuff like that. I wasn't seeking females. And because of that, I was deemed as gay or whatever. So, yeah, I was deemed as gay. And for me having standards and stuff like that, 
at high school is the time when I started to realize I started to like primarily preferred you know like white women and stuff like that this car is not gonna let me go but I'll take this a chance to get this junk out of my shoe I hate when rocks all over in my shoe or whatever anyways that was the time I decided to that's the time I realized I was just more attracted to you know white women and stuff like that when I was um in high school that's so yeah so now I'm over here trying to prove that I'm sort of some sort of straight black man or whatever so in order to do that I decided to in 2000 because I I wish I kept my mouth closed because I I whatever reason I said I had a whole bunch of gay friends and then my child parents used to think I was gay because of that shit so I really do wish I kept my mouth shut which I kind of could understand them from their point but at the same time they jumped to conclusions and it was pretty messed up and it was irrelevant nope irrelevant it was all irrelevant so anyways when I had my first unofficial ex my first little girlfriend I had or whatever um originally the female I talked to somewhat talked to or whatever she rejected me, okay? I was cool. I was. I didn't throw a fit and all that stuff. Obviously, I was nervous or whatever. Felt really weird inside. Heart pumping to and all that stuff. But, you know, that happened. That happened. So now... um, So now... She rejected me or whatever. Um, and most of my friends or whatever were... Like white, they white, white, you know, Mexican or whatever, which I didn't mind, but they was wondering if I had black friends or whatever. And I remember in freshman year, they were surprised when I had a picture with the black cheerleader. And my childhood mother, she was trying to do everything she can for me to get with her. Why? I think I don't know when I started to promote this whole white lady thing, but I'm pretty. I I think I remember saying vaguely. I vaguely remember me wish me um saying that I wanted a white lady or whatever. I, I vaguely remember, but the point is, this black cheerleader girl and back in 2014, I, yeah, I think it was 2014, either either early freshman year, first semester freshman year, or second semester freshman year, which is either one of those. It was in between that time. I took a picture with her, or whatever. She the one who demanded the picture from me, okay. And I remember in my head, I, I wanted, you know, white white girl. Okay, I think I remember in my head. But I was but I was totally fine going with her, the black cheerleader girl. So anyways, my mom was trying to make sure, my childhood mother was trying to make sure I get with her one way or another. Giving me all these hair products and stuff like that. And stuff like that. So Because she wanted me to be with her. All right? She, I, my, my childhood mother didn't know that she was a cheerleader, though. But there's that. Anyway, so... Um... She wanted me to be with her. I mean, I was, I guess, trying to pursue her per se or whatever. But I was more focused, I guess, uh, you know, just being popular in school. So there's that part, you know. So, yeah, I think I got a little sidetracked. But going back to my sophomore year, uh, people just think I was gay. So the unofficial ex, when she asked, she asked for me to be her boyfriend or whatever, I, I was thinking about it and stuff like that. Obviously, it happened overnight. Um, me saying yes to her or whatever. Um, the main reason why I decided to be with her, and despite, despite her being black, is because, firstly, most people of my childhood family thought I was gay. Because, firstly, I said I had a lot of gay friends, which, and I was, which I technically did not. I was just generalizing. Um... I said, uh, what else? That I joined a geek squad or whatever. So they really thought I was gay. So, and obviously during that time, I'm 15 years old. I'm trying to prove myself to everybody and stuff like that. Unfortunately, but that's classic teenage peer pressure or whatever. So I'm there feeling peer pressure. I decided to say yes to the female who asked me out. So, you know, me and her dating now, she's black. The first thing I told my child mother is, oh, uh, yes, she's black too. And then, uh, child mother was all happy and stuff. I want to meet her and stuff like that. You know, just, I mean, that's fine, all that stuff. That's cool. But, you know, whatever. 
So I was trying to, you know, be more blacker or whatever. I did, did what I thought I should do as far as, you know, dating and stuff like that in church or whatever. Because that's what my child parents did. So I was just trying to copy their little image with with me. So whatever. So um, I know this is probably not very, uh, what you call it, uh, related. But you get what I'm trying to say. Anyways. She was black or whatever. I was trying to act like some bigger black, masculine black man or whatever. But that failed. I was acting. And one thing I realized, even my classmates, they started to act more, you know. This more wasn't really a race thing or whatever. But they started to act some, like, you know, more black cultured or whatever. Because I had a black girlfriend or whatever. Um, obviously, the girlfriend, the um, my ex, unofficial ex, she was more interested in the whole black people thing, Okay. I wasn't, okay? I was interested in my stuff, okay? Um, she listens to her stuff. She listens to her rap or whatever. Me, I consider to... I continue to listen to my Sonic stuff. Now, I did not bring up her because she was black, okay? I did not do that. That's not the reason why I broke up with her. I broke up with her because she wasn't as fully honest with me. She wasn't fully transparent with me. And then on top of that, my child father has something to do with that. Which was pretty screwed up, but hey... It is what it is. Anyways, when I broke up with her, you know, junior, junior year happened. I was feeling kind of pressured. I started to really feel, feel the whole, you know, pressure, you know, to, you know, date black girl, blade black girl or whatever. But I really wanted white girl. So I decided, you know, to, you know, feel all, okay, I need to prove my blackness. I need to prove my blackness. So I started, you know, doing black people things or whatever for a sake or whatever. I don't know. Whatever the fuck I did, mentally in my head, I felt like I need to act more black or whatever. Act like more of the culture. Listen to the music and stuff like that. Which more or less, I didn't, okay? Because I just simply wasn't that interested. I was more I was too distracted on what it is I was really interested in. Okay? I've tried a little. I remember trying a little. Trying to get interested into the culture. But I couldn't. 2017. Was it about 17? Probably a year. Um, one of my immediate childhood siblings, they was watching some show on BET. It was just such an annoying show, abusive show. And I was realizing on BET and, and all this other black people stuff, they was promoting so much abuse within the black community. I don't want to see all that, okay? I don't want to see all that. I was just so annoyed. I was just so annoyed. So I realized, okay... If this is all they got to post for my own culture, so okay, I'm done with that. So now, so now, I'm in my senior year of high school. I'm away from the women I'm attracted to. I'm more trying to cross the street. I'm more, I'm more, um, I'm at my senior year of high school. That high school sucked. Not because it was mostly black people or not. If there wasn't really no white people. Not because of that reason. It was because the culture in that mostly black school was just not me. I was literally called weird and stuff like that. Um, I, even though it's kind of my fault I promote the whole white girl preference or whatever. But you, but I, if you see where I'm coming from, I, I just really wanted to be myself, okay? I was able to be myself among the white people back in my first high school and I was able to be more myself and be more sonic like or whatever though I'm not gonna sit there and lie there was a little bit of pressure in school to act more black but I was more I was allowed to be more myself in my first high school my my last high school which was my senior year of high school technically I wasn't really allowed to do that because I was constantly seen weird as ever by everybody so now, that was the year I started to, you know, really, oh, okay, I'm a black man, I'm a black man, I just like white women and all that stuff. Basically, I was doing all that. So, so there's all that story, you know. I was just trying to prove I was black, whatever. And then on Instagram, you know, I made my little Instagram, whatever, trying to promote my interracial love and stuff like that. I am black, blah, blah, blah. I was basically saying I'm a black man, black guy, and all that shit. I was, you know, promoting all that stuff. But then around 2019, I just got tired of it. And then I started to get into MGTOW and Red Pill and stuff like that. Because I guess I just got sick of the hypocrisy. 
of why black women can do, date white men and but black men can't date white women. And then, you know, the whole, you know, weight standard stuff like that. So I got sick of all that. So I started learning more about the red pill and make and stuff like that. So, yeah. And then I think it was around 2020 or 2021 where I was like, you know what? Just fuck it. I'm done. I'm just going to be me. I don't care who doesn't like it. I, I, I got tired of being reduced to my skin color. So I just stopped identifying with my skin color. I'm just Ray Marco. Now I'm just Ray Marco. Fast forward all the way up to now, I'm just Ray Marco. That's who I am. That's who am I. I'm not Ray Marco the black man. I'm just Ray Marco. That's it. I don't want to be identified as my skin color. Nope, not at all. Not at all. I don't want that shit. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it, you know. I don't want to be identified with my skin color now. Obviously, I get a lot of slack because I don't say I'm a black man. I mean, occasionally, I may say I'm a black man to other people just so just so I can make it easier for other people. Specifically, you know, people I'm not constantly, you know, around stuff like that. For certain explanations and stuff like that. But for the most part, I refuse to blackwash myself. I may be Ray Marco, and I don't care if my whole... Um, black cars being revoked from me. I don't care. You can take it. Take him. Throw it at you. I don't want this black car. Because being black is high maintenance. Whatever the fuck that means. Whatever. Just being whatever being black is. I, I get I get really tired of being reduced to my skin color. I should be acting this way. I should be participating in black culture and stuff like that. I'm supposed to be having my fair uh him my fair holiday or whatever it's supposed to be black exclusive. I'm supposed to be devoting Democrat because I'm black. Fuck all that. That's just shit to me. Just an excuse for controlling people. I need a new phone because my camera is kind of broken. Because I dropped this phone so many times. So there's that. So yeah. So yeah, that's that. You know, I'm pretty much. That's pretty much it. It all boils down to this. I don't care what in the world my skin color is. I am not a black man. I am Ray Markle. The man God, God created me. And I think I started to realize I'm a man versus a black man around 2018. I would have to look back in my previous, my past comments on YouTube videos. I'm a man, not a black man. That's, that's the who I am. Obviously, most of the world isn't going to agree with me. And that's understandable. And even that same thing even goes to me. I don't want to be a hypocrite because I literally say white females all the time. White girl, white female, white woman, all that stuff. I literally say that all the time. So I don't want to be a hypocrite. But otherwise, that's pretty much it, you know. I refuse to act like a culture that doesn't represent me. I don't care. That's what most people who look like me look like me do. I don't care. I don't want to act like that. I don't want to, if I'm not interested in our music, in our practices, in our clothing style, and all that stuff, whatever it is, being black is. If I'm not interested in that, I'm just not interested. Call me a seller. Oh, well, fuck you. It is what it is. That's all I pretty much got to say, you know. I refuse to blackwash. I refuse to blackwash. I don't even consider myself whitewashed either. Nope. I'm just Ray Marco. That's it. We can't be original in this world. Especially if you are black, I think. You cannot be original. Which is really annoying. I'm Ray Marco and that's it. I'm not blackwashed. I refuse to start acting like something I'm not. And I refuse. Yeah, that's what all boils down to. Boils down to. I refuse to act like something I'm not. If how I act is more white. Oh well, so be it. It is what it is. I wasn't whitewashed. I was white created. If you know what I'm trying to say. A white um, constructed. I don't know. Not by anybody, but by myself. I did this. Not because I preferred white, because what the white people had to had to um, present to me was just simply more interesting than what the black people had to in- present to me. Hey, it's not my fault, okay? Not my fault. And it's not even a race thing, all the Sonic Mario and video games and stuff. It's not even a, a race thing. It's just a people thing. What people are interested in is what they're interested in. It is what it is. I think I'm done talking. I'm always trying to ramble on. I refuse to blackwash. 
I refuse to blackwash. And stop trying to blackwash people by saying this whole, you ain't black shit. Black people are the main racist people I see. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe.